guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I decided to go super easy with just wing liner and red lips. Before we get started, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media and let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna do a really light eye with wing liner and I'm gonna use a pop of color for my lips. Um, as you can see, I have a little bit of like reddish on my eye, under my eyes. And that is because I tried filming three different looks today and none of them I didn't like. The shadows that I was using were super patchy and it just, I got really irritated and I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to go super basic today. So I'm just going to take the color Creme Brulee and this is a Morphe R37 and I'm just going to apply that on my crease. But yeah, I got so frustrated because I tried filming three different looks. Um, with one palette and I'm, I was trying to make it work but the eyeshadows were super patchy uh, oh and the palette was a Too Faced Just Peachy palette I was super excited to use it I picked it up over the weekend and it didn't work out <laughs> and I'm just going back and forth with that color for my crease And then for liner, I'm going to be taking the Jordana Liquid Liner, and this is in the color black, and I believe they only have one color, or I think they have like a brown one too. And I'm just going to do a wing today. I don't know how fierce that wing is going to come out, and then the hard part, the hard part is trying to like recreate that on the other eye. So I'm just going to take that and start sketching my wing. So what I do is, I first try to line it up with my brow. I do a straight line like that. Get a little crooked on the end, but we're gonna fix it. And then connect it. So a straight line. that's like super um long but you know sometimes that wing comes out like that and just trying to fix it it's gonna give you a nightmare <laughs> so i'm just gonna try to recreate the same wing on the other eye They're not perfect, but that is as perfect as I'm going to get them. So I'm going to move on because, like I said, if you try to fix a wing, just don't go there because you can't. <laughs> so now I'm going to move on and I'm going to uh, apply some lashes and I'm going to just curl my lashes and apply a little bit of mascara. And I'm using the uh, Maybelline Total Temptation, and I use it in the waterproof. I really like this fa uh, this foundation. I really like this mascara. The only thing is that it dries up really quickly. I I think I have I have had to buy like two tubes in like span of like two or three months. But I really like the formula. My eyes feel so irritated from like taking off that like um, makeup and ugh, like they feel tired. Um, for lashes, I'm going to be taking the uh, 614s by Sal and Perfect. These are one of my favorite lashes ever. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna move on and work on my face and then I'll come back and finish my lower lash. I'm gonna use the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. My skin feels a little, a little dry. This is from First Aid Beauty. It's so nice, like it's so hydrating. For foundation, I'm gonna be taking the LA Girl Pro, Pro Coverage HD Foundation and I have it in the color Fair. And I'm just gonna take this and dot it on my face. And I'm just using a Revlon sponge. I'm still on the hunt for the Flower Beauty sponge that I cannot find. And then I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is like my favorite concealer ever. And I'm just gonna apply that in my eyes. I'm gonna apply that on my nose to highlight. A little bit on my forehead. And I'm also gonna cream contour a little bit. This is the Wet n Wild Mega, uh, Mega Glow Makeup Stick for contouring and I'm gonna play a little bit. And then to set, I'm gonna take my original RCMA No Color Powder. And then to highlight under my eyes, I'm going to be taking a tiny bit of the Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder Concealer. And I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes before I go in with my powder contouring. Just to brighten up my um, under eyes a little bit. So yesterday I went to the Demi Lovato concert and it was amazing. Um, DJ Khaled opened for her and Kalani, I think her name was. Um, I have never, like, I've never followed, like, DJ Khaled, uh, so I don't know, like, exactly what type of music he does. I know that he's, like, a DJ, and, like, he gets, like, featured, like, Pitbull was, um, and, yeah, so he opened yesterday, and it wasn't what I expected. It was a little bit of a weird experience. He would, uh, he would, like, start dancing, and then, like, I don't know, it was just, it was a little weird. I think Demi Lovato is such an amazing singer and oh my goodness, she looked really hot. Like she looked amazing with all her like different like um, wardrobes and everything. It was a really good concert. I'm gonna play the Hula Bronzer uh, with a Morphe Y9. But yeah, she was an amazing. She was amazing. I cried like every other song, um, just to like hear her sing live. And then this guy proposed. I don't even know how he did it to get to Demi Lovato to like bring them on stage and then have like even like a really like a nice presentation of like photos of them and like she sang the uh, the song Yes, uh, which is just it's such a good song. It's so pretty. Um, but yeah, he proposed and I was like, how much money did he pay to get to propose in front of, like during a Demi Lovato's um, concert, like, oh my goodness. For blush, and I'm going to be taking um, this MAC blush and it's just a peachy um, tone blush. Um, the name is not there anymore. So I'm just going to take that and apply it to my 
cheeks. With this eye look, you can just definitely go with any blush. For highlight, I'm going to be taking my favorite Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. You can barely see the name. I really need to get a new one because this one, there's little pieces right there and I just need to be really careful when applying it. So I'm going to take my Morphe M501 and apply that to my crease. To my crease. What am I saying? It was just that today is one of those days. Um, I'm just going to highlight my cheeks. And then I'm going to work on my lower lash line and I'm just going to take that um, same color creme brulee and apply it to my lower lash. And then to tight line I'm going to take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the color um, Honey Nude? Honey Dude. Yeah, in the colors Honey Dude, and I'm just gonna apply that on my waterline. And I'm gonna take the color Shroom by MAC, and I'm gonna apply that on my inner corner, just to brighten up a little bit. And now for the start of the show, I'm going to be taking my Mel Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Lady Balls. And this is one of my favorite reds of all time. It is super matte. It dries super fast. And it's long wearing. Because I want a little bit more of a um, highlight inner corner, I'm going to be taking the Flexitarian Super Shock Cheek Highlighter from Colourpop. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of that on my inner corner. And I am going to be setting my eyebrows. This is the Anastasia. Beverly Hills Clear Gel, my favorite. Just, the eyebrows don't move. This is like super glue for your brows. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. The products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.